Chicken is the, uh, the company name? Yes. Chicken? All right. Mm. The texture is very nice. It tastes a little bit like Indian kind of spices, is it? Yeah? Indian traditional spices? It's really good. So, you are the owner of the company? Uh, yeah, I'm Sabrina right. Baines. All right. And this is our company, Chicken. So, we're based in the UK. And where can people find your products? Currently, we're in Costco UK, Costco Europe. We've got a major listing happening in June this year. But unfortunately, we can't tell you where. Otherwise, <laughs> I have to kill you. But we're looking at expanding. Okay, cool. Well, I hope you guys come to the US someday. What did you think to our products? I thought it was great. I thought it was like very interesting. I've never tried like a chicken type product that had like an Indian spices. And I think that's just like a really unique thing that you guys are doing. So I love that. And it's all plant-based, all natural. The texture is great too. I love the texture. My family would be happy. <laughs> yeah. I hope you're happy to hear that too. I am. Thank you very much. So we're at the Noble Jerky Vegan booth and I already have a sample and I already know it's good because I've gone to Wegmans and I, I buy your guys oh, stuff. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, you guys used to be a meat company. Now you guys are a vegan company. That's so cool. It's cool. So you guys mostly do jerkies and now you're going to be starting to do like some steak, like a frozen steak? Exactly, our mistake is our newest brand. And when is that one coming out? I launched in Canada last month, and we're actually in Whole Foods, and in the next few months we'll be in the States. Cool, That's we're at Blackbird they Foods. Go, they uh, had some pizza, they got some wings. I just tried this Korean barbecue, and now I'm about to try this buffalo. So this just came out of their air fryer. You can see it's still hot, so I'm just gonna take a little bite out of this. So the, the outside is just very crunchy. The hot sauce goes with it really well. If you really like vegan chicken, you're gonna love Blackbirds. I've been editing this video for a bit now and every time that I get to this Blackbird part, my mouth starts to water. So you know I love Blackbird. You should do our hot wing challenge. Okay, so this is a spicy hot wings challenge because I, I was talking to them and I told them that I really like spicy food. So they're like, all right, well, let's put this to the test. So. We're gonna see if I really can handle my spice. It's definitely temperature hot. <laughs> yeah. This is the first challenge. And the second one is our gross pepper. Oh, so this is the warm up? Warm up. Okay, okay. So this is the last step? Last step. Alright, so this is as spicy as it gets. This is the ghost pepper hot sauce that they have on their chicken. So now we'll see if I can actually handle my spice or not. If I was all talk. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, so far so good. So far so good. All right. It's also very temperature hot, so it's like hard to eat it quick. I thought that was fantastic. Yeah. There was another uh, vegan chicken wing upstairs that was decent, but this is way better. How are you feeling? Can, can I get more of the ghost pepper sauce on it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you did it. There you go. You want more? Yeah, just a little more. You did it. All right, he's challenged. I have to wear the sticker. <laughs> I'm gonna desell that sauce. I'm gonna get a shot of this one. All right, last bite. Last bite. Now, since you survived, get a sticker. All right, so I get the sticker to prove that I I did the hot wing challenge. Has in. Seems, seems to be still standing. <laughs> Have other people like failed or have many One people passed? I like had to run and get something to drink. Oh yeah. Other than that, everyone has like, managed to okay. They just put out some new ones that look like it's got even more cheese on it, so I'm gonna give this one a try. One bite. Cool. Best burger I've had today. That's really good. Uh, we are Future Farm. We sell plant-based meats from Brazil. We're based in Brazil. We've been in business almost four years in the U.S. for just about a year. And we have a lot of distribution online, Amazon, Fresh, nationally. We're in uh, Wakeburn in the northeast, ShopRite, Fairway Banners. Uh, we're in several independents throughout the country, and we're continuing to expand. And GTFO. And GTFO. And GTFO is vegan, yeah. Oh, okay. As well. yeah. So have you guys found, is there like a big vegan movement in Brazil? No, actually. No? No, Brazil is a We're huge. starting it. Okay. Yes, Brazil is a very big meat-eating country, and we're not trying to turn everybody vegan. We're trying to talk to flexitarians about just reducing their meat intake. If they want to go full meat-free, that's great. If they just want to do a meatless Monday, we want to give them an option that's tasty and seems like the real thing. So we're at the Tyndall booth. What can you tell me about Tyndall? Uh, Plant-based chicken. We are ridiculously good chicken made from plants. Uh, we launched in the U.S. a couple of years ago, 
Uh, we're just getting ready for our retail launch. We're also in food service. Uh, we have the absolute best tasting plant-based chicken on the planet. I can vouch for that for sure. Thank you. Thank you very much, Greg. So we're just trying to give consumers a choice. Uh, they don't have to sacrifice taste, quality, texture, experience, and they get to have every dish that they loved with chicken before they stopped eating it, and they get to enjoy it in a vegan uh, way that is great for the environment, great for animals, and uh, healthier for you. So Yeah, so I can definitely say like I've never heard of you guys' company before I came here, but I was just blown away. Like I can't believe I didn't know about your guys' company. Well, we're so new. This is our first expo. We've had such an amazing show, and we're just so grateful for people like you that are out there moving the category and the way that we're trying to get all the consumers to eat uh, to eliminate uh, you know the need for animals in the food system. Yeah, and you guys also carry gelato now too? We do. It's a brand new acquisition. We just announced it last week. It's called Moi, just like a chef's <laughs> kiss. Uh, Plant-based gelato, and we can't wait to bring it uh, to retail and food service in the U.S. as well. And I can vouch that's also very good. I haven't had a single thing here I didn't like. Everything was fantastic. Amazing. I can't recommend it enough. People's so where do you think people will be able to start finding this in the stores? So we're just getting ready for our retail launch now, so you'll start seeing it with the next few months and retail shelves all over. But we're already readily available in food service across the country as well. Cool. All right. Thanks. Craig, thanks so much. So we're here at the New Breed booth, and you guys have a lot of uh, vegan meat type things. Yes, so uh, that's this is like a vegan burger. Yes, it's a sizzling sausage. Okay. Um, so we do have our burger here. We did not cook that. This is the burger crumbles, and this is the burger. They're very tasty. Um, yeah, this one has, has a, a very good texture. It has a similar texture to yeah. the sizzling sausage. Um, the sausage is really tasty, and it's very nice because it's soy free, gluten free, right. non GMO. So a lot yeah. of people who have some allergies can still eat them. That's right. And yeah, the texture just like really blew me away. And then this one yes. is like a little bit more chewy. It's like just a different type of texture. That's right. I like that you guys have like a good variety yeah, that's of like right. the textures mm -hmm. and the flavors and stuff. So that's right. You know, there's not a lot of good plant based chicken on the market that's actually juicy and full of flavor. Yeah. And so that's one thing that we're trying to be able to do. And this company is not just about having plant based products, it's about having something that's better and that's tasty and healthy at the same time. Yeah. We're trying to be able to transition people into a healthier lifestyle rather than just giving something that's vegan. Yeah. Because there's a lot of vegan junk food out there. Yeah, oh yeah. And so, is. you know, health is one of the goals. Yeah. yeah. So where can people find these products? Not very many places yet. <laughs> but that's yeah. one of the reasons we're at the show. Mm -hmm. um, we're trying to get into Whole Foods, we're trying to get into Kroger, we're trying to get into a lot of places. We're in co-ops in our area. We're located in Lexington, Kentucky. Um, and we do do direct distribution. So if you order from the website, it will be shipped right to you. Okay. Uh -huh. And yeah, you guys can definitely get into Wegmans, because then if you guys are in Wegmans, I'll be buying it too. Yeah. <laughs> we'll try our best. All right, thanks. Yeah. We are at Daring right now, my absolute favorite vegan chicken. And we're trying one of their new products that's not available yet to the public, but I'm going to try it. Uh, it said in a couple months it'll be available at like Wegmans and like places around here, right? Fingers crossed, May. Fingers crossed, May? <laughs> All right, so fingers crossed, May. This is the buffalo. The outside is just like very crispy. The inside is just the daring chicken that I love. That's so good. I can't wait for that to be available. A little bit of heat. Yeah, a little bit, but it's not like crazy. It's like just good flavor. So we're here with the owner of Jenka. You guys have a lot of vegan seafood, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep, we make uh, plant-based seafood. We make plant-based tunas, calamares, and also crab cakes. And you guys are so popular, you guys already ran out of some things, right? Oh, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> come back tomorrow for some more. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, so I'm gonna try the lemon dill, which he recommended. Mm -hmm. He said it was like one of the best ones, so I'm gonna try this. I see why you guys ran out. Oh, thank <laughs> yeah. you so much. So you guys are based out of California? We are based out of California, and um, the goal of our company is actually to make plant-based products that has the same amount of nutrition as the real product itself. So our tunas actually have 14 grams of protein, plant-based omega-3 that's derived straight from algae, and then we also have fiber, calcium, potassium, and all that really amazing plant-based nutrition that you wouldn't get from meat-based um, okay. proteins. And where can people find your guys' products? Um, so our tuna right now is in Whole Foods, and then our calamari and crab poppers we're going to be releasing on our website um, in April. So I'm here with the co-founder of Plantasia Foods and Only Plant Based, and I'm about to try this, just like a, a microwavable vegan burger. Yeah, it's all about access and easy to use, mm. but delicious at yeah. the same time. I can definitely tell you it's delicious. And uh, on here is also like a Thousand Islands dressing that you guys make? Yes, uh, we uh, 
have the condiment to go with the protein, right? Mm -hmm. Which is one of the missing pieces. Adds depth to the plant-based experience when you can choose different uh, sauces. So this is a Thousand Island dressing that we're just launching at this point. We've been launched with all our other sauces, the ranch, the mayos, sour cream, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but it's really exciting to find them together and mm. provide us a whole solution yeah. to a meal like that. Yeah. yeah, and I like that, like you said, it's like very easy to make. You make it like 60 seconds. So there's like some other ones that like you kind of have to grill it or you kind of have to put it in the frying pan otherwise because it just, yeah. it's kind of like actual meat where like it, you have to go through like a whole process to cook it. So I, it's kind of cool that like you can just throw in the microwave when you got like a really busy day or something and then just have a good burger. And it's going to be the same every time. Yeah, very right. consistent. When you have to cook it, you know, how are you feeling about cooking? Yeah, it makes variables, right? yeah, for sure. So where is this available right now? Okay, so the, the mayos and the sauces are available at 2,000 stores across the country, HEB, Central Market, Weiss Markets, places like that. Uh, Plantasia Burger is uh, available at GTFO, it's vegan, okay. and uh, also uh, through Hungry Root right now, and okay. we, are, we have a lot of interest and in, we're rolling out. We feel that the convenience factor is a, yeah. is a big space that the uh, most of the plant-based products don't cover. Yeah, no, you guys have cornered that market. There was so many products at Expo West this year that I decided to split this video up into two parts. If you notice, this video was pretty much just plant-based meats, and the next video will be everything else other than plant-based meats. So so just to recap, uh, chicken was super good. It was one of the only chickens that wasn't crispy. I don't think they were going for crispy. It was just like very juicy the whole way through. And it was just very unique with like the Indian flavoring. So I, I just think that that's super cool that they're just offering something very different than what everyone else is offering. So definitely recommend chicken. Chicken, I should say, if you are in the UK, coming to the US soon. Uh, Noble Jerky is also just a very good jerky company. I think it's super cool that they used to be a meat company and now they're a vegan jerky company. And now they're coming out with a vegan steak, which I think they said they're gonna be sending to me sometime soon, so be on the lookout for that video. Blackbird was a really cool company. I, Like I said when I was editing, every time I got to that part, my mouth just started watering so much. I don't know if it was uh, just the actual chicken itself or was the sauce because they actually sell the sauce with it which i think is also very cool like i just like i love when companies do something different than what everyone else is doing so uh the sauces really made the chicken very good it was very crispy on the outside juicy uh flavorful on the inside uh and i think it's really cool they also sell pizza so you can get your pizza and wings from one place uh the closest place where i can buy it near me is like sadly an hour away so i might actually have to order uh, from their website and you can actually get like a bundle with uh, chicken wings and pizza. I'm, I'm just getting very excited just talking about it. So I really, really liked uh, Blackbird and um, Tyndall was very, very good. I would say like it was a toss up for me between Tyndall and Blackbird. Uh, Tyndall, it was a little bit different because they, they're not selling a sauce with it. Um, but they have like chicken patties and chicken nuggets and uh, popcorn chicken. Uh, they, they're, just, they're just like everything chicken. And you might have actually had their product before, even if you didn't know it. I didn't know that I've actually had their products before. I just didn't know it was Tindall because it was at a restaurant. Like there's a restaurant near me called Strong Hearts. Apparently that's what they use for their chicken patties and stuff like that. So I've been eating it for a while and didn't even know it. But uh, their food, their chicken I should say, is it's just very good. Um, I would, it's really just a toss up between Tyndall and uh, Blackbird as far as like the best chicken nugget type uh, wing type thing. Um, chicken I think had like its own, its own, it's like it's in its own category because it has like the Indian flavoring and, it, and it's not trying to be crispy. These two were very crispy uh, when you bite into them. Um, and I would also say that New Breed, was, they had like a really great texture for their, I think it was like a burger, no it was like a, a, some kind of like Sicilian sausage or something like that. Um, they have like a variety of different uh, plant-based meats. I thought it was cool. They're just, they have like a variety. It's not just like burgers or something like that. I think they have like ground meat. They're doing a lot of cool stuff. They're a pretty small company and I hope that they get bigger because their, their meat, it just like tasted really good and the texture was good and they had a variety of things. So I really liked that. Daring before this was my favorite. Uh, I think that Blackbird and Tyndall may have stolen that spot. I do still really plan on using Daring for my dips that I use. Um, putting on pizza would probably actually be very good because I don't want something that is going to be Indian flavored, honestly. I would want to have that on its side and I don't really want something that would be crispy. Um, so I would probably just go with the original Daring because um, I think it goes better with dips and pizza. So I think each chicken has its own place. 
Um, and then there was Jinka, which was a cool seafood company. I think they just had dips as of right now. I hope they evolve and get either, even other things. Uh, but their dip was very good. If you're looking for any sort of seafoody type dip, like to put on a cracker, that was very good. Um, I didn't cover Good Catch because Chris always really covers Good Catch in his videos, which you should totally check out if you don't know Chris, the vegan zombie. We went to Expo West together. Um, he's friends with the owners, so I, wanted, I just wanted to make sure that we had different videos, so I didn't really cover them. Um, also, very, very good uh, seafood. So, Jinka and Good Catch are two of my favorite as far as vegan seafood goes. And last but not least, Plantasia Foods. I thought that it was very cool that they were offering something a bit different. They are also packaging their burgers with the dressing on the side and it was like a different dress, like it's not just ketchup, you know? So it's it's Thousand Islands dressing, which I think a lot of people probably won't have at home. Uh, like I just have ketchup and mustard at home pretty much for burgers, maybe some barbecue sauce. Uh, but yeah, the, the sauce went really, really well with the burger and I love that it's just something you just throw in the microwave. Like it's great for like a person who's just very busy, whether you're a student or just a really busy person or maybe you just hate cooking uh, because they did all the cooking for you. You're just heating it up really. It's not like like something like Beyond Meat where like if you don't heat it up, it's gonna be gross. This is just like if you don't heat it up, maybe it won't be as good, but it won't be gross. I hope you guys found some cool new products to try out. Uh, some of them you might, you might just have to go on a website in order to order them uh, because unfortunately they're just small companies, but I do think that it's great that in the 21st century you can order something that you found out, uh, like I think it was New Breed is in was it Minneapolis or Kansas City or something like that. Um, but you could go to their website and order it. Same thing with like Jenka, you can go to their website and order stuff. So um, definitely recommend checking that out. Check out Chris's video and I'm gonna be coming out with a part two for all the other stuff. There's some really cool drinks uh, and there's just like other, just other products at Expo West that I think you guys are really gonna like. Let's get weird! Let's get weird! Let's get weird! We're taking it straight get to the dome! Weird. Weird.